the magnetic field of a bar magnet. The objective of this lab was to measure the distance dependence of the magnetic field produced by a small bar magnet. We're going to use Biosavart's law of magnetic fields to measure the on-axis and per-axis components of the magnetic field. We're going to create a computational model of the magnetic field of the bar magnet and compare it to the, to the experimental model that we determined. The results of this lab were that the magnitude of the net magnetic field increase as the distance decreases. The, mag the magnetic dipole moment is 1.488 amps times meters squared. The experimentally determined value of the on-axis magnetic field is 7.5 times 10 to the negative 5 teslas. And the computational model yielded an on-axis magnetic field value of 2.95 times 10 to the negative 5 teslas. Here are some of the key concepts that we're going to be using in today's lab. We have the magnetic field of a dipole moment on axis. That's the equation. The two equations, uh, the last three equations um, are equations that were provided to us for the determination of, of the, dip the dipole moment. That third equation is the, uh, the total magnetic dipole moment of a magnet, of a bar magnet, and that's what we're going to be using to, to create our uh, computational model. That last one is a linearization of our data, which will be used uh, later. Here, um, once we calibrate our data collection method and carry out our procedure, we are left with our data seen here. You can see by our data, the magnitude of the magnetic field increases as the distance between the magnet and the meter decreases. The values of the line of regression can be used in in uh, the equation from earlier, uh, B bar equals K times R to the N power to determine the magnetic dipole moment. We're gonna do that by setting K times R to the N power equal to mu over four pi times two times the magnetic dipole moment over R cubed to determine that magnetic dipole moment. And we're gonna please note that the off axis magnetic field measurements are in the bottom left. Uh, from our observation of the, our experimental model is that the magnet meter moves. As the magnet meter moves to a distance far away from the magnet, the magnetic field um, moves closer to zero, which makes sense. And as the magnet meter moves closer to the bar magnet, the magnitude of the magnetic field increases. Here is our computational model. In this section, we're just creating our constants and we are inputting our magnetic field equation of a bar magnet into code. In this section we are scaling and getting our arrows of the magnetic field of the bar magnet in place. You can see um, what we're doing is we're going to just get it visually ready. Here we're calculating the off-axis magnitude of the magnetic field as well as putting in place an arrow to visualize it or to represent it. The final result of our computational model uh, with our values and with our visual component on the left. Here are the results of our lab. The distance um, of the magnetic of our magnet meter at 20 teslas was 2.16 times 10 to the negative 1 meters. Uh, the distance of our magnet meter when it measured 70 teslas was 1.43 times 10 to the negative 1 meters. As stated before, our magnetic dipole moment uh, came out to be 1.49 amps times, 10, or times meters squared. The experimental magnitude of the off-axis magnetic field in vector form is provided below, and the magnitude of that is 7.46 times 10 to the negative 5 teslas. Computational magnitude of the off-axis magnetic field in vector form is provided as well. And the magnitude of that was 2.95 times 10 to the negative 5 teslas. Possible sources of error in this lab were other sources of magnetic fields nearby, such as phones, computers, or any other sorts of things that would have disrupted our calculations. Um, placement of the magnet meter was not consistent, leading to unreliable data, and magnet meter was not totally accurate, leading to unreliable readings. Measured magnetic fields would be unreliable and incorrect because we did not account for Earth's magnetic field. This was, would result in all subsequent calculations being unreliable as well. What if question two? In addition, 
In addition to, of a second magnet, would it result in a strengthened magnetic dipole moment and therefore a strengthened magnetic field? The changes we would see in our measurements is that the magnetic, the magnitude of the magnetic field would increase.